Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're talking about the Game of Thrones episode, the first of his name. Stop listening now if you haven't had an opportunity to watch that. Here we go. Cersei and Tywin plan the crown's next move. Danny discusses future plans. Jon Snow begins a new mission. Um, this is going to be really, really fast. It's just kind of talking about a couple of things um, that had to deal with important events inside of Game of Thrones, but not with my favorite characters. But I definitely, uh, it's it's worth talking about, man. Um, let me start um, first off with uh, Lady Brynn of Tarth, man. Um, she is on her mission with uh, Tyrion's um, uh, helper. I don't know his name, man, but he was like that. <laughs> He's well known throughout <laughs> the realm. Because of his magical member. Let's just leave it at that. They're on a mission. They're getting to know each other. Um, it's very interesting because he's allowing um, Lady Bryn to kind of open up a little bit and, and stop being so so tight. And she's she's releasing herself. It's really really awesome to see. Um, we're gonna talk about Lady Cersei real quick, okay? And the reason why I'm talking about her is because obviously we know that. Um, we know that, uh, that 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 Tyrion man, he is in prison right now, okay, and he's gonna be on trial next week in next week's episode, which they showed at the end of this episode tonight. And it looks like it's gonna be crazy because of the events that took place tonight. Lady Cersei has went into the chambers of uh, her her father uh, uh, Tywin and uh, Tywin Lannister, obviously, and she has begun to plant this seed inside of his ear. OK, and I don't I don't like it. I don't appreciate it, man. Um, it's just gets gets me upset. Now, here's here's the thing, man. Her father said, I can't talk to you about, you know, the the trial. I can't talk to you about the situation with your brother. And what she decides to do is she plants these little small seeds inside of his ear about how is it possible that, you know, you judged, you know, Jamie so harshly when he did certain things in the past, but yet you'll let this supposed murder, which, you know, obviously Cersei thinks is, is 100% complete and 100% true. And it it's so frustrating, man, to talk about. Let me give, give me a second. She wants him to feel bad. OK, she wants her father to feel bad. And make her brother die for this, man. You know what I'm saying? Let her brother be murdered for this. I mean, we don't know who killed King Joffrey as of well. Okay, <laughs> well we do, but but they don't. Okay, and so the, obviously they put together this little council, and the council was made up of uh, Prince Oberyn, um, another guy um, um, that that uh, Tyrion Lannister decided to um, to to appoint, and then himself. So those are the three guys that are going to be kind of judging this trial. Well, check this out, man. After Cersei plants that seed inside of her father's ear, and this is how she kind of, I guess, puts the cherry on top. This is what she does. She goes into her father's office or whatever, and his chambers, and she tells him that Marjorie is going to wed Tommen, and that's going to um, carry on the Lannister name, okay? And just real quick to kind of update you, Tommen is now king. He's the king, and he's long may he reign. Okay, the little little guy got crowned tonight, and um, you know, um, Cersei caught Marjorie smiling. But we'll go into that in a second. But she kind of wants her father to know that okay, she has good interests and the best interests or whatever. But yet she still won't marry herself like she's been asked to or, or told to she still won't listen so she goes over to prince uh Oberyn, and obviously you know what prince Oberyn, this whole thing about um innocent people being murdered and how the lannisters kill people it doesn't sit right with him but cersei i didn't know i didn't know I, I had no clue this was true but cersei has a child a daughter named uh masilla and masilla I guess has been away for so long, man, and I guess Prince Oberyn knows where she's at or, or has seen her a couple of times, and so Cersei starts playing into that, you know, um, she plants this seed into uh, his ear about her brother killing the king, and um, how about, you know, uh, innocent people being killed, and how, um, you know, she doesn't allow for women to be, you know, um, treated harshly, and all this other crap, you know, 
And it just gets me really frustrated, man. So she takes um, Ober and starts walking him through these these woods and stuff, and down by this this um, this harbor. And then she kind of shows him this gift that that has a, that she's been um, having being made for her daughter or whatever. And then she gives it to Prince Oberyn to take back and give to her daughter and all this other crap, man. Um, really, really frustrating, man. Really, really frustrating about that. I don't understand it. Um, but we know how she is. She's just a, she's a really good character too. I think that she deserves to die next. I'll be honest about that. Um, the next podcast we'll talk about um, all my favorite characters, and we'll go into that. And that should be the last one, guys. Thanks again for listening, man. And uh, yeah, right here.